Last night I saw the movie Jobs 2013. Um, and I, it's about Steve Jobs, the uh, founder of Apple Computer. And the movie was okay. It was okay. But it was kind of boring, unfortunately. It seemed like it skipped a bunch of things in there. Um, but uh, but overall, you know, overall it was it was pretty exciting. You know, it was kind of exciting to see the founder. You know, I knew nothing about this guy whatsoever. But personally, I hate Apple computers. I have never liked them. I owned one years ago for a short period of time, and I just never liked Apple. I don't know why. It's the same thing. I don't like Ford. I don't like Fords, and I don't like Apple. So I don't own an i uh, iPod or an iPhone. And an Apple computer, I never will. Although I take that back, I might actually get uh, you know iPad because you can put them on your stereo and stuff like that, the docket. But anyway, the movie made him <clears throat> the movie made him look arrogant and rude, obnoxious. And I have already read a bunch of other things like Wikipedia and stuff like that. And he was like that. There was people that feared him that they thought they were going to lose their job. You know, I think that Apple did him wrong when they, you know, kicked him out. But then they brought him back and then he kicked out the people that did him wrong. And I thought that was awesome. But uh, overall, the you know, his life to me kind of sucked. I mean, the way he acted, you know, he was arrogant. He was rude. And I just didn't, I didn't like his personality. He's not somebody that I would want to hang out with, you know. Um, but he is, he was smart. Okay, definitely was smart. He was a good businessman. I I think they said he was worth two million or two billion dollars. Um, yeah, you can't say he's stupid, you know. And also, I had to give him credit where credit's due because of the things that he's done. You know, computers are the way they are now because of the competition and stuff like that. You know, if it was just him, things would probably go slower. But when you have competition, people bringing out computers and they're better than yours, then you're going to make another one that's better than theirs. And so I think it pushed computers, period, to get to where they're at now. And computers are awesome versus the one I had when I first started. I had 386. and No, I actually did have an Apple computer once uh, years ago. And uh, personally, I thought it sucked, and I'll never own one again. But I, I mean, we're talking about way back, okay? So you had like, it was like, in pe not pieces, but it wasn't in a one unit. You had your floppy drive over here, and a cable come over, you know, and your keyboard. Oh, it was it was a mess, you know. Taking it with you, you had all these cables and pieces, and ah. Uh, I don't like that, you know. I didn't like that. I know, I know they're better now, but I still don't like Apple. Okay, I don't. But anyway, back to the guy. He wouldn't even accept his daughter when she was born. You know, I've been here for my boys ever since the day one, and I've been raising them since Maverick was three, and now he's fifteen. So I don't know. I just I, that part kind of, you know, it didn't make sense why he was being like that. Why he was rejecting him, her, and saying that that's not my daughter. You know, later on he did accept her and stuff like that, but uh, still, he just seemed like a prick. I'm sorry, and I don't know. He got he got if you made a, like a web page and complained about him or talked about him, he tried to get it removed, stuff like that. You know, and then there was the computer clones, and he shut that down. I don't know. I just arrogant to me. You know, rude. Not not the kind of guy that I would want to be my friend. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this guy, okay? In the comments below. You guys have a good one. Take care, and God bless.